So for those of you who don't live in a place where it snows, this is what happens in the parking lot when we get a fairly good sized snow and it all gets piled up so that people can still park in parking spaces. So this is actually, this pile that I just showed you um, has been melting for more than a week. And there was actually some on the other side of the road. You can see how there's still snow in the park over there. Sorry, that's... But the parking lot's completely just wet now. I mean, there's some snow over there and stuff. But I just find it, you know, because I used to live in Texas, and I find it crazy that that's how big it gets piled up. So, getting ready to go into Bed Bath & Beyond. i uh, going to tell you the sad, sad story of our kitchen a little bit later. I haven't been to the booth in two weeks. I'm kind of scared to see what it looks like. Oh yeah. It's pretty messed up. It's just amazing to me. How people just... I mean, this is not even ours. This is from somebody else's booth. And then this is not ours. And this is a card. And this is not ours. People. All right, I guess we're gonna fix things up. I marked a few things down, put a sale on windows. You gotta tell them about that, by the way. About what? 40%. Yes, we do need to tell them. Um, oh, can you pull this back? I need to move that cow picture. You're lucky. This is the first part that I had to head reverse. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's pretty full, but once we take the Christmas tree out... And we just found out about a new antique store going up about a mile from our house. So. <laughs> Did you hear him? He said, yee-haw. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a, a big revamp in here. Come first of the year. All right, here we go. I can't wait to do a walkthrough and see if we can find any goodies for our bedroom. What are you looking at? I think that dress would be great for our bedroom. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'd like to finish the game just real quick. Yeah. Saturday. I have not had much time to video and I don't if you don't watch my other channel let me tell you what's going on so the night before I left to go to Texas um, honey noticed that the two I have those rope rugs or braided rugs in the kitchen he goes honey did you spill water this rug is all wet and I walked in there and I was like, no, that's really wet. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe that one of the dogs peed. Well, it would have had to have been Sheila because it was a lot of wet. <laughs> so um, he was like, this is way too much for dog pee. And I, yes, I smelled it. it wasn't dog pee. So uh, I panicked. <laughs> he was like, and he was in the dining room, I don't know, prepping coffee for the next morning. He's like, I'll be in there just a minute, just a minute. He came in. Uh, we took the rugs. I'm sorry, I'm folding something. We took the rugs outside. And I cleaned up the area. And 
I said, okay, I'm going to check it in 30 minutes. Well, in 30 minutes, there was water beating in the grout of the tile. And I'm like, oh my God, we have a leak under the house. I'm leaving in the morning, but oh my God. He's like, relax, relax, relax. So he gets on the floor and he's like looking all over the floor. And then he moves over and discovers that it's the dishwasher leaking. I was like, oh, thank God. Okay, we need a new dishwasher. Um, He's like, no, I don't think so. I think we just, you know, let me check it out. I'll pull it out, check it out. So over the holiday, because he stayed here and I went to my mom's, um, he f discovered that um, it was just a valve. So he, we ordered the valve and he fixed it and it was fine. Well, I came home and noticed a lot of cracking of the tile. And he said, I did hear a lot of popping when I would walk on it. And a lot of the tile was cracked. And I said, I'm going to have to call insurance. So I called insurance. Within a few hours, there was a water mitigation team here. And they said, okay, we're going to have to rip up all the flooring. We're going to have to tear out the cabinets. And initially, I was distraught. I had to come home from work on Tuesday and pack up the kitchen. I had just gotten back from five days away and i'm panicking and honey's trying to convince me but look at the bright side we're gonna get a new kitchen and probably all new flooring because the tile is at least 12 or 13 years old and it was a tile that was um like a closeout and was um they were discontinuing it. Um, not to mention, it's been used for 13 years. It's got wear. It's got. It, they can't match it. And tile goes through a majority of our house, not the bedrooms, but all the normal living space. So we're gonna probably get all new flooring. Um, the actual field adjuster is coming on Monday. And um, because they destroyed some of the cabinets when they pulled them out and they had water damage, it, he was like, well, if we can match them, we'll just replace the damaged cabinets. And Honey's like, these cabinets are 30 years old. There ain't a snowball's chance in you know where that they're going to be able to match them. So we're going to probably get all new cabinets. So what they'll do is they'll cut a check for the value um, the depreciated value of whatever they're going to replace. And then once the work is completed, we get that depreciation amount at that time. Because their philosophy is, well, if you're not going to replace it, then you don't get the depreciated value. But we are going to replace it all. We have an appointment tomorrow at Home Depot at 930 to go in and sit down with someone that will help us design our new kitchen so it is Christmas and it's stressful to have this going on at Christmas but it, you know I'm trying to look at it as it's a Christmas gift um, I was freaking out about packing up the house because if they're gonna replace all the flooring everything that's on the floor has to be packed up and I was like I only have two days off before Christmas I don't have time for this and she was like, oh, don't worry, we'll send in a packing team. They'll come and pack everything up. You don't have to lift a finger or do anything. So right now we have no kitchen. So we've been doing a lot of order out, which is very fattening. And I've been trying to be cautious, but it's still bad. Um, I did go up and pick, go last night and picked up some salad type of stuff, because that's easy. However, I didn't even realize until I got home that I have no place to prep a salad because there is no, I will show you, there is no kitchen in there anymore. <laughs> uh, so I will be either prepping it here at my desk or on the washer and dryer, one of the two. <laughs> um, we're keeping dishes to a minimum. We're using one mug for him and one mug for me and one cup for me and drinking out of pop cans and yeah, so when they start tearing up the floor, they wanted to put us in, Airbnb, in an Airbnb 
And he said, I'm going to start with four weeks. And I was like, no, not happening. Honey was like, no, the dogs, we got to keep them at home. So when they, when they start to tear up the floors, we're going to move into the camper and we'll do our cooking and everything in the camper. Um, we get no compensation for staying in our own camper. So we're saving them from not putting us in an Airbnb. We're saving them by not having, because right now they're paying for our food uh, because we can't cook. But I don't understand how we get no compensation for staying in our own camper. That just doesn't make any sense. Even if it was a small amount, you know, $25 a day for staying in our own camper. Because it is inconvenient. I guarantee you. But at least we get to stay on our property. I have access to the craft room. I can still come in here and do, you know, crafts and things. Um, you know, we have access to the buildings. So if we want to do some vintage stuff and things, we can do that. Um... We don't really need to. We The booth is like really kind of over full right now. Um, we really didn't want to get it over full. Um, but we found out last night that um, there is a new antique mall opening like one mile from our house. And it's big. We went by there last night and we were just like, oh. Um, I would hate to move out of that antique mall because that one is has been going for a long time you know I don't know how many years but I would imagine it's been there like 20 30 years um, and everybody knows it this one's brand new it's gonna be um, comparable to size of that one comparable not quite as big um, but they're in the very early stages uh, we went by there they have a huge sign uh, we looked inside and they have a lot of work to do. So we're going to go by there this weekend and try to talk to somebody. Um, we'll definitely be getting a booth. It may be a smaller booth. than what, It would definitely be a smaller booth than what we have at the other antique mall. We'll see how it goes. But excited about that. And tomorrow, the new kitchen design. And, oh my gosh, honey. Oh. Okay, so before I left... Um, oh, guys, Honey quit his job. Yes, he did it. He quit. I'm so happy. And he's happy that he's not dealing with the crap. And trust me, I am going to tell you all about the juicy crap um, that was going on that made it necessary for him to quit. <coughs> um, but yeah, so he's literally been off since we got home from our Las Vegas trip. So we got home from Las Vegas trip. He had some vacation time. He took the vacation time and then he quit. Um, very validly quit. So he's just been home. So when I was going to my mom's, I was like, my mom gave me, she gave me Christmas, I mean birthday money. And I said, why don't we take that birthday money and we'll spend it on the bedroom. The bedroom really needs some updating. It needs to be painted. Why don't we put up some faux wood paneling? Um, we'll put up some new shelving. Maybe we can even, you know, we'll see what we can do. And he's done a lot. I'm going to show you tonight when I get home. Um, and he's going to do more today. Um, and then my mom got, went ahead and gave me more money for Christmas. And so we're probably going to take that and do some updating in the bathroom. So the house was in such disarray just from remodeling our bedroom because we had to take everything out of that bedroom. Well, not everything, but we took a lot of stuff out of the bedroom. And then get this, those guys had to go under the house. So the hatch that goes under the house is in our master closet. So we had to clear out the master closet. I mean, it's just been a mel of a hess. So, yeah. There's been some arguments. You know, tempers flaring from all the disarray. Because our house is normally very tidy. Very neat, organized. Everything has its place. So it has been difficult. But we always came back together and realized, okay, look. It's me and you against the mess. <laughs> not the mess against us. 
So, <coughs> anyway, I'll take you in the kitchen, show you what's going on in there. I gotta get ready to go. It's almost nine o'clock. We have a really busy day at the shop today and I gotta get over there and make some money. Talk to you guys later, bye. The guest room looks like. I think you get the drift. There's a ladder in the hallway. Voila! Here's the kitchen. So these guys that do the water extraction stuff and the dehumidifier, they just needed all the stuff out from the floor. Somebody else will come and take all of these cabinets out and then we will be redesigning our kitchen. So they're gonna have to pack up all this stuff, all of this stuff, this, that, this because the tile floors go so here's the kitchen dining room entryway all along here down the hall and over this way and over that way so um we are gonna get like a perg is it called pergo it's not actual hardwoods but um and we're gonna try to get it to kind of go with this we wanted to go with like a um, some gray tones with the wood um, but we don't think it'll look good with this and this and all the trims on the doors so although we would have really liked to have gone with the gray toned wood floors it's just not gonna mesh with what we have already got going on and then we were going to do our kitchen in gray. We we're going to do gray cabinets. And now we had to rethink that. We were like so excited as we were, you know, we went to Home Depot the other day and did our, you know, initial get ideas and stuff. And yeah. So anyway, hopefully we can take you along with us tomorrow and show you what we're planning um, when we go to Home Depot. So anyway, that's, that's, here it is. The only thing we got is a fridge. Thank God we got a fridge, right? messy hair. <laughs> um, it is Sunday morning. Normally I am vlogging for my other channel at this time, but I didn't get to do all the vlogging I wanted to do last week. So I wanted to tell you, be sure to go sub to my other channel, Vintage Stuff and Thangs. Um, we have some big projects going on here at the house. Big projects. Um, and I've got some video footage that'll go over there. Um, seems like there was more stuff I wanted to say. I will put the link in the description box down below for vintage stuff and things. Um, most of the projects going on for probably the next month to six weeks are going to be house reno projects. And it wasn't planned, but it is what it is. So, I am working on, how many do I have here? Let's just put it this way. This is not all of them. So, there's going to be a lot more cards coming because my card lady is buying, buying, buying. But I posted 16 and she only bought 10, so there's more available. Check it out. The link to my eBay store will be in the description box down below as well. You can follow me on eBay and get a notification every time I upload a video. We have a lot going on. Bear with us. And we'll see you on Vintage Stuff and Things. Oh, oh, I'll share it next, next video. There is a song Rihanna and I are in love with, and I can't wait to share it with you. All right, talk to you guys later. Have a great week. See you on the other side.